What if, right now, under the icy silence of the Arctic, the Earth was quietly preparing to explode? Sounds dramatic, right? But it's already happening, because deep beneath Siberia's frozen tundra something ancient and volatile is stirring, and it just left a gaping hole in the ground. This isn't science fiction, it's real. And it could be a sign of things to come. It began with an accident. A Russian film crew was flying over the remote Yamal Peninsula, capturing footage for a completely unrelated project. The landscape stretched endlessly beneath them, snow-covered, vast, untouched. But then, something caught their eye. A circular scar carved into the earth. As the drone descended, the scale became clear. Not a small sinkhole, not a ditch, but a crater over 165 feet deep, shaped like a perfect cylinder, straight down into the permafrost. A violent birth, frozen in time. Scientists rushed to analyze what had happened, and the answer? An underground methane explosion, triggered by the thawing of permafrost that's been frozen for thousands of years. Let's pause here. Permafrost isn't just frozen dirt, it's a time capsule. It holds ancient plant material, prehistoric bacteria, and gases trapped since the Ice Age. But, as the Arctic heats up, twice as fast as the rest of the planet, this frozen layer is beginning to thaw. And when it does, organic material starts to rot, just like food left out too long. That process releases methane, a greenhouse gas over 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Now imagine that methane building up in underground pockets, gas-filled chambers with nowhere to go. Over time, the pressure increases, and then, in an instant, detonation. Vasily Bogoyevlensky, a top scientist at the Russian Academy of Sciences, explains it like this. Gas-saturated cavities form in the permafrost. These are voids, completely filled with high-pressure methane. Once the pressure exceeds the strength of the overlying Earth, it explodes. And that explosion is what created this massive crater. It's not the first. In fact, this is crater number 17. That's right, 17 confirmed craters of this kind have been discovered in Yamal since 2014. And they're getting larger. The first crater to draw international attention appeared suddenly in 2014, a hole nearly 130 feet wide. At first people speculated, meteorite, secret weapon test, but the truth was stranger and far more urgent. This latest crater, number 17, is the largest yet. Evgeny Shuvalin, a senior researcher who visited the site said, what we saw is striking in its size and grandeur. These are the colossal forces of nature at work, but here's where things get even more concerning. These craters don't just tell us about what's beneath the ice, they warn us about what could happen above it. The Yamal Peninsula isn't just an empty stretch of land, it sits on top of one of the largest natural gas reserves on Earth. Pipelines snake through the permafrost. Infrastructure has been built across it, but if the ground itself becomes unstable, all of that is at risk. As permafrost thaws the landscape can collapse, roads buckle, buildings tilt, Entire communities can be destabilized, not in decades, but in years. And that's already happening in some Arctic regions. Now here's something chilling. In 2017, scientists documented over 700 locations in Yamal where the ground appeared to be swelling, like bubbles pushing upward. Each one could be a methane-filled time bomb just waiting for the right moment to explode. So how many more craters are out there undiscovered, hiding under a fragile skin of soil and ice? No one knows. And that's what makes it so dangerous. These events aren't just geological oddities. They're visual proof that the Earth's climate is changing in ways we're only beginning to understand. Think about it. A hole, suddenly appearing in the middle of the Arctic, caused not by human activity directly, but by the consequences of it. This isn't the plot of a disaster movie. This is the planet responding to the warming we've unleashed. And the feedback loop? It's terrifying. As permafrost thaws, it releases methane. Methane traps more heat, more heat melts more permafrost, and on and on it goes. This cycle accelerates global warming and creates more chances for explosive events like the one that formed Crater 17. But the story doesn't end with doom and gloom. Because by studying these craters, scientists are learning more about the delicate systems that regulate our planet. They're uncovering ancient microbes, tracing the carbon pathways locked in frozen Earth, and maybe, just maybe, finding clues to how we can slow the damage before it spirals further. So, what do you think? Are these craters nature's final warning, or just the beginning of a new chapter in Earth's unpredictable climate story? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if this blew your mind, check out this next video, where we dive into the discovery of a fossil that might rewrite the evolutionary timeline. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. There's a whole world of strange science out there, and we're just getting started. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.